Hey guys, good to see ya. I... Good, we're running. I'm a, bit, a little bit late today because my alarm clock, well, it messed up. And, uh, well, I took longer in the shower than I meant to and yada yada. Anyways, good to see you guys. Just waking up and getting myself together here. I happened to very recently get Euro Truck Simulator for a very good price. It was only like... It was, uh, it was less than two dollars. But what I didn't realize... Is it running? Alright. Well, I can hear it. I can't see it. Alright. Euro Truck Simulator, where are you? Euro Truck Simulator? I can certainly hear it. Oh, there we are. Um, what I didn't realize is that Euro Truck Simulator has a sequel, and I bought the original Euro Truck Simulator, but oh, that's fine. We're playing Euro Truck Simulator number one. Apparently there's Euro Truck Simulator number two, but when you pay less than two dollars for a game, that's not so shabby. Okay, I, I got full screen, but why did it... Why did it cover up the chat? Can I see the chat whilst I've got full screen? In the other window? There we go. No. Nope. Okay, I gotta play in a window. This game's acting funny. Alright, resolution... Can we get, uh, can we get windowed? Can we get windowed of gameplay? Okay, yes. There, now I can see the chat. I couldn't see my stream chat. What's the fun in that? Alright, and as you can see, I'm doing the floating head thing again, because I got my green shirt. And I'm eating a bit of an orange, because I skipped breakfast. But we'll eat that as I drive. Anyways. Everything look good? We'll just, uh, we'll just go. Alright, I know it's not the most, um, conducive thing to streaming to eat while you're, you're working, but, uh... So we can start in Germany, Czech Republic, Austria, Poland, Italy. I know a lot of my family members... You know, the music's a tiny bit, a tiny bit on the loud side. I just gotta say. Not that I don't like it, but it's a little bit. It's a little bit. A shushin loud. Anyways, a lot of my family members would like me to start in Italy, obviously. Because I've got a lot of relatives there. But, um... Let's see. United Kingdom. Belgium. Netherlands. Switzerland. But I think I'm gonna start in Poland. I think I'm gonna start in Poland, because... I got a lot of pub Polish viewers, and I wanna see... I wanna see the Polish countryside. I know what... I know what Italy looks like. Let's see... Let's take a drive through Poland. Let's... Let's take a look at the place. I kinda wanna go there, so let's go there in Truck Simulator. The nice thing about eating an orange is it makes your hands smell nice. No, smell orangey. Orange fresh. Alright. Welcome to the truck dealer. Alright. But yeah, if I like this game, maybe I can get Truck Simulator 2 and play that in the future with you. Alright, so well, Runner B class. That's uh, too expensive at the start. More expensive. Alright, so I can get the Valiant C class with nine speeds, a decent engine, fuel tank 600. Any other starter trucks that I can choose from? No. Swift A class, sure. Swift C class. Okay, so. It says the fuel tank's about the same, but 470 horsepower? How does that vary from the other one? It says Swift. Where's the Valiant C-Class? Valiant. 480 horsepower. Doesn't look too different, honest honestly. This just has a little bit less horsepower. Or you have the Majestic. The Majestic has the least horsepower and the least fuel tank, so... I don't quite see what's so majestic about it, quite frankly. So... Let's take a look, uh... 
I think I want the one with the most, most host horsepower, right? Uh, I, th I think I was a Valiant C-Class with the horsepower. 480? Sure, let's let's take the horsepower. More power. More uphill climbing ability. Ah, eh, whatever. Okay, welcome to Euro Truck Simulator. You can turn off this tutorial at any time. Oh, look at me, I'm playing with the wheel. Whee! Okay. Start up the engine by pressing... Okay, W-A-S-D. It's pretty simple. Map. Now I can see I'm in Warsaw. Press M repeatedly for different zoom levels. Ah, nifty. And to bring up Notebook. In the Notebook you can browse the map of Europe. Expand your business. And view your career. And familiarize yourself with the, the world. Select a country for next business expansion. Obviously I can't afford that right now. Alright, time to drive. Drive to the depot marked on the guide map. I guess that's where I can get repaired. Let's see. Drive the depot marked to the narrow. On the guide map. You can take a job where you wherever you see that symbol. Well I don't see I don't see the arrow. Where's zero on the guide map? Hello, guide map? Navigation. Arrow on the guide map? Hello? Arrow on the... Alright, I'm a little bit confused already. Time to do your first job. Drive to the depot. Marked with the arrow on your guide map. Oh, I had the parking brake on. Alright, parking. Get yep, parking. Blinkers. Wait, what did I just do? I just totally screwed up. The, there we go. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm a good truck driver already. So where's this depot with the arrow? Maybe it's just in here? That's it on the guide map. I mean, am I just completely confused here? Euro goodies. It's probably over at Euro goodies, I guess, maybe? Alright. Oh, I forgot to use my rear view mirrors when I just merged there. I just just merged without even looking. And I hit... Okay, well, that's a good start. That's a good start. <laughs> this is why we should be... This is why I should be a truck driver. But is it this way? Like, I'm not seeing... I'm not, I'm not seeing the arrow. Okay, yes. I'm just... I'm just learning how to drive. Thank you for the honking. I think I'm over the line here, actually. Okay, stop. Okay, I get it. I'm terrible at driving. <laughs> Thank you for that. Alright, uh, turn signal. Turn signal? Oh wait, that's... There's turn signal. Turn signals. We got... We got the go. It's probably the same place. Oh yeah, there's the arrow. Okay. I thought you said it'd be on the map. The depot... Oh! Drive to the depot marked on the guide map and stop at the arrow. I thought the arrow would be on the guide map. No, that makes sense. Okay. Press the following key to do the job offer. Alright. And hey, Alex Forbetto, good to see you. Alright, so... Cargos? Oh wait. Oh, I see. You can choose your cargo, and then you can choose where to sell it. Supply percentage price. All right. So, like for example, ice cream could melt. Melt. <laughs> yes, I'm the floating. I am the floating head today. This is Euro Truck Simulator, where I guess you just haul stuff around. Uh, I'm using a keyboard, and yes, my head is floating. That is, that is true, because I've got a green shirt today. Um, but no, I'm just using a keyboard. You drive through Europe. Yes. Alright, so, I guess we'll start with, I don't know what the supply percentage means, company sell plan, supply percentage, price. Okay, so I can take it to Prague or Vienna. Okay, so this is the price here, and then this, when I get to Prague, that's the price for the cargo. Alright, so for example, dry milk. Now, I can buy it. Oh, this is, it is selling to saying the sell prices, okay. Yeah, and then where to take it. 
Okay, so, like, we'll just take a job. Okay, I'll take, uh, I'll take, like, dry milk to prog. Does that, does that make sense? But that's 39% of my cargo space, is that what you're saying? Oh, and I can't afford it. You can't even afford it, so. Let's take a, yeah, let's take a prog job. Company cell plan. Dry milk. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Maneuver the back of your truck. Switch to camera mode. Maneuver the back of your truck under the trailer. What trailer? That trailer? Okay. That's my trailer? Oh, and maybe you should turn your blinkers off there. Maybe you should turn your blinkers off there. Blinkers? Where's the blinkers? There are no songs. That's fine that there's no songs available. Where's my blinkers key? <laughs> Blinkers? Can't I turn those off? Thought it was E. Oh, it doesn't matter. Alright. Attach the trailer with T. Okay. Cabin camera, four. Okay. Free rotate camera. Inside camera. Can we turn these frickin' blinkers off? Blinkers? <laughs> No, that's oh, that's turning on the ca turning on and off the cabin lights. F was blinkers. Okay, there we go. Be careful. Your truck in uh, in that game, your truck can stall if you stop incorrectly. It's a pain to start back up. Also, you need to gas up and sleep. Don't, if you don't sleep, you lose five hundred dollars. Okay. Make sure to do that sort of thing. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. So, anyways, we're going to Prague. So. Um. What's the route we want to take? Alright, can I get like a GPS kind of navigation thing? Call SOS. Uh, cause, you know, it... Typically it makes your life easier if you got a GPS situation, but... Now uh, we got, uh... We got this whole thing. Alright, so... Cabin camera? You can see a little better there, but I can't see what's... Out the side. Okay. No one's coming on this side. Oh, <laughs> there's someone's coming on that side. Okay. Well, good. Just you, you stop for me. It's cool. It's cool. We're cool. <laughs> All right. Already making bad decisions. It's been forever since I've driven anything, so maybe the simulation will help me to become a better driver in real life a bit too. I think what we're learning is don't ride in a car with me. You'll be back in an hour. Okay. Fair enough. When, when everything's gone to crap, you'll be back when everything's gone to complete uh, hell in a handbasket. I don't, you know, I don't know... <laughs> I made the title, Why Did I Buy This Game? Because, honestly, I don't know exactly why I bought this game, other than that it's, um... Well, here's the reasons why. The reasons why I bought this game were because it's highly, highly rated, as far as, like, the, the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Usually simulations don't really grab me that much, but the, the reviews are overwhelmingly positive. And it was uh, less than $2 on sale, so it's like, eh, I guess, you know, less than $2 and, uh, but, uh, yo, I totally understand, I totally understand. Honestly, a lot of bad things happen on the road. Like, vehicles are expensive, if you crash, it's a lot of money. <laughs> this is really funny? Well, that's good, that's good. Because, yeah, I've been, I've been screwing up pretty bad, like, how, how do I... How do I, uh, how do I do things? Am I cutting that guy off? I'm cutting that guy off. Okay. Turn in right here. How's the fuel and everything? We got, we got fuel, right? Looks like we got fuel. Yeah, we're at full, we're at full fuel. That's good. Don't stop for that. Oh, I probably should have taken the other, probably should have taken the other route, right? Pathing. Ah, this'll work, this'll work. We'll make it work. Oh, the flying head. <laughs> the flying head bit's funny. Well, it's all funny. It's all funny to me, because I'm... I'm a bit nervous, so I'm gonna screw this up, but that's okay. That's part of the fun. That's part of the fun of being a truck driver. Full speed ahead! Who cares about, uh, speed limits? I gotta get the cargo there fast. This time is of the essence. <laughs> I'm crossing multiple lanes. Who needs to... Yeah, I probably should turn on my blinker when, uh... You gotta, you gotta, you gotta indicate when you change lanes. That's uh, that's rude. What I'm doing there. All 
right, so how do I... Where is the exit? I think I'm gonna be taking the exit on the left. Will there be an indication of that? Or, oh, I gotta go down here. And then it'll go... Oh, that's not right. Yeah, that's right, there's an underpass situation. Okay. Wait, these are... Oh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not indicating turning left. I'm indicating, I'm turning on the, I'm turning on those blinkers. I'm turning on those blinkers. So it's like, I'm turning on both lights. And it's like, uh, which, which way is he turning? I don't know, turn signals. I just turn on both of them. This is like the emergency indication. Like I'm, I'm, um, I'm panicking. Like, you know, or like I'm stopping. That's, this is the indication for stopping, not, uh, turning. How did I lose my body? Uh, well, it was a terrible truck accident. <laughs> But that doesn't, that's not gonna stop me. It was a terrible, a terrible, it involved a forklift, no. Uh, it's, um, I'm wearing a green shirt. I'm wearing a green shirt, and it's a green screen. So if you wear a green shirt on a green screen, floating head. So yes, or as people said before, head gone. So wait, I see, I see an indicator up at the top that looks like my, uh, it looks like it's filling, my character's body is filling full of blue in the upper, in the upper right corner, do you see? That's... is that my character's, like, sleep level? Yes, floating head streaming, yes. <laughs> that is good, that is good. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I'm glad, I am glad that you're laughing, quite frankly. That's... that, uh, that makes me quite happy. That's one of the better compliments you can give me, quite frankly. It's, that's why I do it, is for the laughs. And somebody said that I wouldn't be a successful comedian. <laughs> Oh. Alright, uh... Yeah, I'm glad I took the truck with the extra horsepower. Wait, what's the control key doing? Control key is doing something. Hang on a second. What's that key do? <laughs> Tegenberry asks, what's... What's that key do? Control. Left control. Right control. Left control. Shifting down. I was shifting down. Oh, you have to shift? I have to shift now? I mean, it makes sense it's not automatic. I gotta shift. You gotta shift, damn it. Okay. I was shifting down. It's downshift. Downshift. <laughs> downshift. <laughs> we gotta get in the lower gear. Oh, I just hit the guardrail. Alright, well, that's fine. That's fine. The guardrail, that's what the guardrail's there for. Alright. Wait, so how do I, um, how do I actually signal in the right ways? Like, I keep turning on, like, parking brake. Like, uh, navigation. Left turn, right turn. Brackets? Brackets, that kind of odd. Okay. There we go. Now I can signal. Now I can signal the other drivers on the road. That's important. Alright, I want to take E67. Yeah, I just want to take... Get on E67 and we're good. We're good. We just take E67 all the way there. In fact, I probably should have hopped on E67 all the way back there, but I ch ch chose this route instead. I might be in too low... I might be in too high of a gear, or low, too low of a gear, I mean, to go up the hill. Start indicating. Look both directions. I think we're clear. Alright, good. I'm starting to learn how to drive again. <laughs> flying hands, too, yes. And there are flying hands, occasionally. They are, the, fl the flying hands are here to support me. They're here to... They are, uh, they're magical, magical flying hands that assist me in my endeavors. Oh, is there a way to merge here? Oh, I seem to have goofed. There's no way to merge, is there? There's no way to merge. There's no way to merge. I thought there'd be a way to... Oh, it merges all the way back there. Well, son of a... Okay. Somebody didn't read the map. Well, we'll get on E67 and we'll be good. I obviously should have gone the other direction. Hurry up. How do I honk? Honk, honk. Out of the way! Go faster! Go faster! Don't you hate people like this? I'm a tailgater. Tailgating! Go faster, lady! <laughs> Alright, now they're just- now they're doing the braking indicators, like... <laughs> that's- and that's what somebody does if you piss them off, that you start hitting the brakes. It's like, oh, you wanna go faster, do you? I guess I'm gonna hit the brakes, cause if you're gonna be a jerk to me, I'm gonna be a jerk to you. <laughs> should I pass? Maybe I should pass. Yeah, I should pass. I should pass. I'm passing. I'm passing. Wait, I don't think I've had enough time. I'm not passing. 
I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You're going. Don't you? Don't you break on me? All right, passing. Let's go. Then we'll get between that one. Hopefully, don't whack the car with my trailer. Maybe I will. Let's hurry things up. I took the wrong direction, so what can I say? Now I gotta make up for lost time. Euro goodies. Oh, Euro goodies. Aren't you great? I'm gonna tell everyone how slow Euro goodies is. Oh, wait, am I also working for Euro goodies? I don't know, but my character, my dude's like half. Please drive carefully. <laughs> I probably should. Uh, my character's. It looks like my character's half full of. Uh, am I sleepy? I think I'm sleepy. All right, whoa, <laughs> whoa, -oh. all right, just barely making it. Oh wait, crash vehicle offense, crash vehicle. Oh, my trailer, my trailer. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, that was a. Uh... Hey, he crashed into my. He rear-ended me. Obviously, I screwed up. Obviously, I screwed up. You don't want me to lose my floating head. I, I think I'm gonna get a small fine for that crash vehicle offense, probably. All right. Well, anyways. have some of my breakfast right there as I'm driving. And as a, because I'm American, I drive. I drive while eating things. And obviously, you, you, what you what you don't want to drive on the, uh, the roads in America. It's, it's just a terrible place. Full of people like me. Just driving like like maniacs because we're, we're too busy trying to get where we're going to drive safely. Anyways, we'll see how bad that uh, fine is. I might, I might need to start again, if it's bad enough. Hey there, Bear Squatch, good to see ya. I'm, I'm, I'm a floating head that's trying to make the best time he can, despite the fact that I've had terrible navigation, terrible navigation issues. I didn't know there wasn't an over, there was, you couldn't merge there. Didn't, I didn't read the map right. No left turn, you say? Right, it's, you, you turn right. Okay. You turn right. And then you merge left. Okay, I think I may have screwed this up. Or no, you, can you can I get to the other side here? Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna do a bit of a UE here. You know, unconventional, unconventional driving. Good thing there's no cops around. <laughs> that would definitely, that would definitely get me arrested anywhere. Good thing no cops are watching. <laughs> what happened if you crash? Uh, last time I, uh, last time I crashed, I got a. <laughs> yes, it, they're not good. My in life, my real life driving skills are not good. They're not good. <laughs> I gotta say. Uh, although I was, I was a pizza delivery guy for a while, so I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> but obviously, obviously, I'm uh, playing fast and loose today. Because otherwise, it's boring. You will pay money if you crash. That's for sure. I'll probably I'll probably probably end up losing money if I crash too much. That's for sure. All right, but I I've already got one fine. I probably have one fine already that I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna have to pay at the end of this trip. Hey, I'm a pizza delivery guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean I certainly got some experience driving there. I'm obviously I'm a lot better at driving in real life than than here. Because I know what the controls are. Best profession. <laughs> exactly. Best profession 2K17. Oh, oh, you are. Oh, that's... I, I thought you were saying, like, um... You were talking about what I just said. Basically. <laughs> I thought... I thought you were engaging in some lights... Lights mockery. But no, you are a pizza delivery guy. Yeah. Well, it's not the worst profession, if you ask me. Yeah, and and you get free pizzas. You do, <laughs> from time to time. If if well, if the the, the delivery place is nice. <laughs> ah, you just had a wreck. That's a shame. Yeah, that's like one of the biggest difficulties of being a pizza delivery guy or a, or something like that. Is that uh, they don't really cover the cost of. Um, 
that really cover the cost of your fuel and stuff like that. Or your car maintenance. I mean, they cover the cost of your fuel, but they don't, they don't really pay you for maintaining your car. Uh, and you can't make money around your area anymore as an 18 year old. That makes sense. See me work as a floating streamer head. <laughs> yes. I mean, this is, this is, the, the, the weird thing about this game is I feel like I am essentially doing a job here. <laughs> We're essentially, I'm essentially working a profession. It's weird. It's like, um, like I wonder, it's like, uh, you know, it's like, if, if, I, if I'm doing a simulation driving a truck, shouldn't I just be a, shouldn't I just be a truck driver at this point? Game looks nice though. It's fun, I gotta say. <laughs> Excuse me. It is fun though, I gotta say. Kind of relaxing. <laughs> I've had fun goofing around. Oh, whoops. Somebody just hit the parking brake button because I was mashing keys for some reason. All right. Well, don't mind me hitting the parking brake in the middle while driving. That's just the truck smell funny lever. <laughs> just imagine you're driving along at full speed and you hit the parking brake accidentally. <laughs> that would that would definitely uh, put a little bit of wear on the tires and stuff. Alright, can I upshift? I'm upshifted as high as I can upshift? Okay. Very good. That's what I was trying to do when I put on the parking brake. I tried to upshift. Alright, we're going 80. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. You want to invest in Bitcoin? I've heard good things about Bitcoin, honestly. I mean, as long as you uh, keep your computer secure, obviously, cybersecurity is a bit of an issue when you invest in Bitcoin, but I know people who, uh, who like, pay for everything. Like, they pay for flights, for hotel rooms, for, um, for, like, you know, clothes and food and everything. Like, everything they buy, damn near, is with Bitcoin. So, um, yeah, apparently, apparently Bitcoin's a viable currency now, as far as being accepted. Uh, I don't know about the fluctuations of Bitcoin. Do I need more fuel? Do I need more fuel? How's my fuel going? I'm at half fuel. I'm at half fuel. Well, there's another, there's another station ahead. Okay. That's okay. But, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't know about the fluctuations. Like, if it's gonna, if you, um, like, if how, how the market's going up or up and down. As far as an investment, I'm not sure, but, uh, it seems like Bitcoin is legitimate. I can say that. Ah, you won fifteen dollars just for nothing, and transferred it into rubles. Nice. Um, Bitcoin mining certainly sounded interesting. Ah, you're getting tired. You should find a place to rest. Okay, well I'll rest at my destination. Can I do that? I see. So that 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 indicator is my my rest meter. So yeah. It's just, uh, or can I sleep at the, uh, can I sleep at the gas station, maybe? I probably should turn on my lights. Still, let's turn on the lights. Yeah, everyone's turning on their lights at this point. Alright, need to get more fuel, need to get more rest. We'll arrive at Prague, we'll see what the fine is that I, uh, incurred upon myself. Sleep is for the weak. <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe so. Maybe so. Am I kind of going over the line here? A little bit. A little bit. You're over the line, mister. I'm all over the place. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyways. This game makes Poland look like a nice area. It makes it look nice. I gotta say. Yes, I know. I'm very tired. But this... But this milk's not gonna deliver itself. This milk's not gonna... I can't let this milk go bad. Alright. Fuel. Lower than half. Alright. Well, we'll stop in for fuel if I... Oh, wait, can I cross there? Can't really cross there. <laughs> honk honk? Who's honking at me? Or oh, there's, there's another fuel station across... Uh, there's another fuel station I can get to 
after Prague. Can I, can I make it that far? I'm kind of pushing things here. Well, there's a maintenance. There's a maintenance facility near Prague. Yeah, the maintenance facility will have fuel, right? It's gotta. It's gotta, okay. Anyone over there? Nope. Okay, let's go. Pull into the maintenance facility, get my rest. Hopefully get fuel. Easy there. Easy there. <laughs> Alright. Don't want to go too fast, you'll backlash. Alright, yeah, we'll get some sleep. I know I can get sleep here. I can probably get fuel here too. Probably. That's fine. Why, why do you have the barrier down? What am I thinking? That's next. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Okay, well the wooden barrier dealt... This isn't good. Okay, can I back up? Back up. Thank you for waiting. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's cell plan. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be atrocious. This is atrocious. And then we're gonna run out of fuel. Then we can run out of fuel. Just give me a second. Alright. Deliver your cargo. To do that, find the highlighted spot. And, like, pull back in. <laughs> Alright. Clearly I should be fired. Oh, that doesn't quite work. Like, of course it's gonna get janky like that. And let's maneuver it in like that. Okay, that's not... Trailer lost. Well, it's, it's, it's lost in about the right position. Just need to reconnect it and get it... Yeah, I probably should have backed straight in. Just trying to do something... Unconventional. Reattach. Just back it up a bit more. Straighten yourself out there, buddy. Okay. I made money. Okay, damage penalty 105 euros. I actually made money. Look at me. All right, you are now ready to explore delivering, and and one oh, and one crash offense, 400 euros. That's actually not. That was actually not half as bad as I was expecting. All right. You are now ready to explore Europe and deliver cargo on your own. Have fun. Good luck. Am I? Am I really ready? I'm not sure if I'm ready. You say I'm ready, but uh you don't you don't know me. Did you did you did you watch did you watch how I was driving? I don't think I and I need to turn my lights off. I don't think I am right. Somebody needs to get fuel right now. Let's just go do that. Oh, those are brights. Lights brights. I can turn on my brights. Alright. Stop indicating. You certainly are a lot faster without a trailer. But yeah, I'll definitely check out that mod, because... Yeah, I like Mountain Blade a lot, so... And, uh, it's been a long time since I messed with that Star Wars mod. Alright, we'll go get fuel, then we'll go get a new mission. Ooh, hey. <laughs> Easy there, Speed Racer. Speed Racer! He's a demon, and he's gonna be chasing after someone. <laughs> he's coming for you, so you better look alive. He is gonna chase you in his fabulous Mach 5. And if the odds are against you, and there's dangerous work to do, you bet Speed Racer, he'll come through. <laughs> Uh, okay. Can I just... Well, can I just do full? What's full? I just, I'm just like, fill her up, right? Did I, uh, like... At what point is... Can I overfill the gas tank? Like, I'm spending a lot. That seems like a lot. Tank is full. Okay, I was gonna say, you will tell me when the tank is full, right? Alright then. Just making sure. <laughs> just making sure they wouldn't just be like letting letting fuel leak out of the thing. Oh, 
Alright, time to do one of my famous U-turns. <laughs> kind of surprised that uh, the game doesn't... Uh, kind of surprised that I don't get hit by the police for that one. You did a freaking U-turn! Fine. Maybe in Euro Truck Simulator 2. <laughs> but you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not getting slapped with a giant fine. At the moment. I did, uh, you know, for some reason I really like the uh, Speed Racer anime. Or cartoon. It's, uh... I don't know, there was a simplicity to that show. But there was also a lot of weird, interesting moments. That, you know, that show had a lot more to do, uh, had a lot more in it than just racing. It had, like, uh, Jim Jim the monkey, like, clawing someone's face, where the, his face, like, bleeds. Or like, um, there was like a volcano race course where everyone dies in the race. Everybody dies in the race. Like, it's like, um, when we started the volcano, uh, volcano race course, there was 100 racers. Only two people survived. Speed Racer and Racer X. <laughs> it's like, why did you do that race then? Who planned this race and why? <laughs> because we wanted to kill 100 racers. Ah, uh, you need to bl attach your Bluetooth headphones? Fair enough. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. It's my red trade ox. Well, I don't like you guys. Oh, my competition. I had to run that guy off the road. <laughs> Less competition, more profits. More profits for me. <laughs> run the run the competition off the road. <laughs> that's that's the way. That's the way of the uh, the truck driver. Wait, so where did I accept a new mission? Was it it was at the, um, was it, was it here or at the Euro Goodies place? Okay, well, son of a bitch. I went off the road and bumped him. Was it over here or over there? It was, no, it was at like Euro Goodies or, it was at one of the places. Another offense! I, it, that, that should just pile along with the first offense. Okay, well, I'm just gonna drive on the sidewalk for a bit here, because I'm, I'm now a thousand euros in debt anyways. It was at the companies. You go to the companies. That's that's a main uh, that's a maintenance depot. This is a company where you get the thing. I've already lost most of the profits from the next run because I'm awesome. All right, great. <laughs> um, so what should we take? Uh, like ice cream to Warsaw, and what does that mean? Supply percentage. Like, can I take two things, or I can take some cheese to Vienna? Like, let's say I take cheese to Vienna. Can I take something else? Nope, I got the cheese, okay. Like, you can't take two things. It's gonna say, like, this is a supply percentage, this is the size of the hold, the cargo hold. I probably should have taken a bigger job. Oh, and that's what I look like. Got myself a nice mustache. Look it up. There we go. Alright, and off we go. <laughs> I'm complaining about the numbers, like, oh, I, I hit the same guy twice and I only tapped him. You know, that should be the same fine. <laughs> oh. Okay, um, navigation to Vienna. So I'm gonna wanna take the E65 South and we'll be there. Right, let's go. Right, I could have potentially bought a truck upgrade, but too late for that. Yes, I have no body. No body, I have. I'm wearing a green shirt, so... I am the floating head truck driver. And that's, you know, that's why I'm having so much trouble driving. I mean, I... I don't even have arms. I mean, jeez. I'm having to do, like, the things with my tongue and my teeth. Like, like I'm having to lick switches. <laughs> and turn the key with my teeth. And, uh, and and bite the steering wheel. So it's it's not easy. It's not easy being a floating head. I'm wearing a green shirt. I'm wearing a green shirt and it's a green screen. <laughs> I lost my body in a truck driving accident. All right, but oh yes, and I, I watched that thing, the Dress and Dragon do the hula from the Lion King. It's like I mean, of course I've seen the Lion King, 
but uh, I forgot. I forgot about that particular scene until uh, until I watched that clip. <laughs> big and tasty treats. Wait, why don't you eat my friend? He's a big and tasty treat. He's a big pig. You can be a big pig too. Oi! <laughs> Something like that. Kind of, uh, kind of forgetting some of the words, but... Okay, time to do one of my famous U-turns. Okay. Yep. Yeah, famous U-turn. <laughs> Just a little bit of scraping. Just a little bit of scraping. More like infamous. Oh, the one that says kill me? Oh, I missed the kill me one. Oh, you, you said I needed to watch the kill me one, didn't you? I did not. I didn't watch the kill me. I guess I need to watch the kill me one. Yup, yup, yup. He's a big pig. Yup, yup, yup. You can be a big pig too. Oi. I gotta watch. I, 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 I forgot. I seem to have forgotten to watch that one because I forgot you said. I wasn't sure if you said watch that one first or don't don't watch that one. It's the second one. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, so we got fuel. I've scraped up my trailer. I've got two fines coming. But um, maybe I can make at least a thousand euros from this trip. Alright. So wait, this is the road? Map. This is the road. E65. E65 all the way to the Vienna. This is kind of fun, though. I feel like I am. Like, I've, I, I have... I have actually... When we were moving... When when we moved here to uh, Maryland, I did drive the... Um, we did have one of these uh, renter trucks that you can drive. That's... Um, I mean, it's a pretty big truck, but it's not like... Um, it's like... It's weird how the law works, but it's it's a truck that's the minimum size truck that you can drive without having like a truck commercial truck driver's license or something like that. I don't know. I drove and I actually drove a big truck when we were moving, and uh, I did great. I didn't crash at all. In fact, the only person who did crash was um, when my father was driving later. He accidentally uh, accidentally scraped into someone at a uh, parking lot. So, uh, but otherwise. I actually, I actually, in general, I'm a pretty good, uh, I actually, in, in real life, I'm actually a good driver when I'm not doing U-turns and things like that <laughs> in video games. Like, literally, I've got no parking tickets on my, my, my driving record is completely clean. No tickets, uh, no accidents, no nut, actually, so... What are you talking about? Not a rat. And you have no. <laughs> yes, I've got no butt. I gotta say, that's true. <laughs> what about a rat? Or are you talking about? Are you are you getting angry at Nightbot there, or what's the deal? Oh well. Anyways, I did not eat. <laughs> I did not eat breakfast. Oh, at night at Nightbot. Okay. <laughs> As long as that's not directed at me, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, even if it is, like, I'll live, but... <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. That, that's what I figured, that's what I figured. <clears throat> Anyways, I didn't eat breakfast this morning, so... I'm gonna try to... While I'm driving... Because cause it's an American tradition, while I'm driving I'm gonna try to eat something. Which is not a good idea. Oh. Bit of an orange. Help ship? Can we do this faster? Nope. Okay. Got some orange slices nearby that I uh, I peeled just before the oh 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 <laughs> before I um, started this up. But I, I you know I missed breakfast, so I need you know what? Let's just park on the side of the road for a second. Wow. I'm eating an orange. Stop! Stop! Um, stop honking at me. Oh wait, I think I know how to deal deal with this. Flip him the bird. Hey, like hang that out the window. <laughs> Even though I'm clearly the one doing the bad driving around here. <laughs> no, 
Whenever, whenever somebody honks at you, it's an American tradition, you flip them off. Doesn't matter if you're in the right or in the wrong, you flip them off. It's just it's important. It's an important thing to do. Very important. <laughs> Ah, hello there, Alistair Drummond. Good to see you again. And uh, thank you for indulging me while I ate that bit of an orange. All right, we're gonna get some sleep here because apparently I need sleep again already. My the character's a sleepy fellow. Didn't l you're not in the lines at all when you parked. You're way out of line. First day. You completed your first day as a truck driver. <laughs> and quite frankly, it was pretty bad. Ah. <laughs> Fair enough. You haven't been a while around for a while, but, uh... Yeah. I can't remember exactly what video, but the name... The name's familiar. The name's definitely familiar. Ooh, ooh. It's, it almost looked like I was scraping that guy. It really looked like I was scraping... It looks like my trailer's kind of going through that guy, doesn't it? Well, that's fine if the game doesn't want to penalize me for it. Uh, that's okay. All right, rear view mirror, can you help me see? Oh, you're, you're, you're waiting for me? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bus. Thank you, Mr. Bus. All right, cool. Uh, what time is it for me? Uh, 4.55 p.m. Ah, it was. It was the last time on Prophecy of Pendulum. That makes sense. Well, good to see you. I'm glad, always glad to see a familiar face. Alright. We're making our way to Vienna. I'm feeling much refreshed after my sleep and having breakfasted on a delicious orange. Let's go. Got my vitamin C. I'm no longer gonna get scurvy. Arr, I'm no longer going to be a scurvy dog. And uh, all that. Guy's got wood. Ah. Fair enough. One minute off for you. I'm... Okay, so I'm just... I'm driving completely outside the line right now. Let's turn on the lights. Let's, let's try to stay in the lines. And not be a ter- I'm a, I'm a- I'm a terrible truck driver, simulated truck driver, apparently. But, uh, yeah, I'm not exactly being stressed- I'm not exactly being stressed- stressed about the situation, or taking- taking things too seriously. But, wait. Yeah, right here. Does this- this connects, right? It doesn't say Vienna, but, yeah, this whips around. Yeah, okay. This will take me to where I'm going. This has been pretty funny, though. <laughs> the sheer amount of screw-ups <laughs> have, uh, have made me laugh. And I feel like it's been a long time. It is a calm game, I gotta say. It's been a long time since I've drove. A long time, so... I am very rusty when it comes to driving. So this, this actually feels like it's helped me remember how to drive, how to signal, and how to do all the things that I, I've kind of somewhat forgotten. That's for sure. Alright, so... Yeah, let's just, uh, let's take this in. We'll worry about the maintenance depot later. Alright. Right on red. That's okay. Go across the sidewalk a little bit. That's... Going across the sidewalk slightly, that's not okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Well, when you can't think of a better, uh, a better response to something, it's like, well, that works, or... Uh, I mean, I guess, uh, basically, I, wanted, I want to show people that I acknowledge what they're saying. That you do get red signal offenses. Okay, fine. Red signal offense. I didn't know, I didn't know this game cared about that, but apparently it does. That makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense, but that's unfortunate, because, uh... We're just about there. Aw, oh, red signal offense. Okay, that's fine. A few, a few more euros to pay off. Hey, wonder how bad that's gonna be. Well, what about the U-turns? There's no U-turn offenses.
Uh, I deserve that though. I deserve that. I have not. I have not been caring about traffic lights at all. Detach. All right. Damage penalty: two thousand euros. Plus two offenses, minus a thousand euros. Okay, you barely made a profit. You barely made a profit. But yeah, I think it's a nice thing to do. There's a contradiction. How do you get gro groceries if you never drive? Oh, well, um, I live... What do you mean? <laughs> I live, I can walk, I can... Oftentimes I walk to the, uh, walk to the Great Wall. Grocery store. There's a there's a whole bunch of great uh, uh, grocery stores just within a few within a few blocks of me, <laughs> and there's a contradiction. O okay, Phoenix, right? <laughs> there's a contradiction in the evidence. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> Objection. Egari. All right. Um. I I I live I live I I usually walk to the store when I need food, but um, when I need to do other stuff. But yeah, it's just like, um, I can just, I can run down to the Great Wall, or the Food Lion, or all other stuff. Like, it just takes me, like, two blocks, and so I just jog for two blocks, so. Whenever I want to get some snacks, whenever I want to get some snacks, it's like, I gotta, I do, I jog down to the store and jog back, because that way, if I'm buying a lot of, um, a lot of, of a lot of calories that aren't healthy, at least I'm burning the calories. Like, my, my logic is, if I'm gonna get a lot of snacks that make me fat, I gotta at least run to get them and run back so I burn some of the calories that I'm that I'm buying up but I do I do like a lot of the Asian foods and Asian snacks that you can get at the um, Asian food stores <laughs> laziness intensifies <laughs> all right then um, anyways uh, wait uh, yeah let's yeah let's go back to Prague it's a short trip and then I can take these are all the cargos offered I don't quite get the supply percentage like price supply percentage well let's like take the um, Take, like, one of the most expensive jobs, like the yogurt. We'll take the yogurt. Does that make sense? I'll take the yogurt. I don't- I don't fully understand that screen, but who cares? Let's go. Yeah, you can really whip this sucker around when you don't have a trailer attached. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, as long as you're burning calories somehow. Or maybe the snacks you eat. Well, uh, there's- there's a couple solutions. Either it's youth, or you're doing something that is burning a lot of calories. Or, uh, and you don't realize it. Or, uh, maybe the snacks you're eating aren't quite as unhealthy as you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know the answer for you there. But, uh, I mean... You know, obviously that's how human health works. Hey there, Punio7, good to see you. Um, I'm, I'm doing... I decided to be a trucker in, uh, Poland. <laughs> so, uh, I'm checking out the Polish... The Polish countryside, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Warsaw. Don't know um, how many times you've been there, or if you've been there, but ah, uh, your parents feed you well, Thai food, which is organic and stuff like that. So and veggies, yeah. See, so you're eating right. It's that's your diet then. But or maybe I mean genetically, maybe you just have a good mo mo a good mo metabolism. Mo good metabolism. <laughs> you got such a good mo metabolism that it's become a mo metabolism. That's something completely different. <laughs> all right, jeez. Uh, all right, so to Prague. We're going to Prague, not Warsaw. I started at Warsaw. <laughs> Can we play Gungeon? It's Friday, is it? Uh, it's it's Thursday. Uh, you you live in Warsaw, so you're quite there quite often. Neat. All right. Well, you can tell me if the accuracy you know, wipers. It's not Friday for me. <laughs> it's Thursday. All right. Windshield wipers. What is, what's my windshield wiper button? Windshield wipers, wipers. Ah, the vipers. They call me the viper. I vipe the windows. <laughs> the viper is coming. Have you, have you seen that to Animaniacs or, um, I, I forget it was a skit on a certain other comedy show, but the viper is coming, not the viper. Yes, the infamous viper. He's coming to kill the king, not the viper. Yes, the viper. I, I am the viper. <laughs> oh no, not the viper! Yes, I'm the viper! I've come to vipe the windows! Oh, that viper. Okay, so you're not gonna kill the king. Oh no, no, no. He's gonna kill the king! <laughs> oh. Alright. It was a funny skit, that's all. The viper! The window viper! 
Ah, yeah, I, um, I didn't, honestly, I didn't realize that Euro Own Truck Simulator 2 was out there until after I bought this one, which, uh, made me feel quite foolish, but you know what? I'm starting to get to like the idea. I think I might get Euro Truck Simulator 2 based on what I've seen in Euro Truck Simulator 1. The nice thing is that I got Euro Truck Simulator 1 for, like, less than two dollars. I got it for 80% off and it's a cheap game to, be, game to begin with. But if I had known that Euro Truck Simulator 2 was out there, I would have just got uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Why is the world so cruel? Uh, cause that is the way of nature. That's the, that is, that is Darwinism. That is nature. That is survival of the fittest. That is, uh, that's the way of the world, my friends. There are vipers out there. The world is full of vipers. Window vipers and and truckers. And uh and nature that is nature speeds upon itself and, and others. Something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna get some rest early No, let's go, let's go. I was gonna say I'm gonna get some rest early, but no, there's no reason to. We can uh I'm at less than half tiredness. I don't know, can I make this I can make this trip without falling asleep. Oh, damn it! Headlight usage offense. I forgot my headlights. Is it that late? Apparently it's that late. It's, yeah, it's that late. It didn't seem that dark out. It just, it didn't seem dark enough to me, but it's, uh, it totally is, because I guess this game doesn't make things as dark as you. Damn it! Night bot in the house, definitely. <laughs> and also night, and also night lights offense. Okay, well, how many euros will that be? I forgot my lights. Rumble. All right. Oh, also, I shouldn't be using my brights either. Let's use the normals. Murder it. <laughs> yes. Murder everyone. Murder everything. I like the effect of the rain droplets going up the windshield whenever I'm driving fast. And then I'm assuming if I stop, then the rain droplets will go down. That's kind of neat. That's kind of a neat little, uh, neat little effect, visual effect, I would say. All right, so have I upshifted as much as I can? I think so. All right, so when we arrive, we got to do some maintenance and stuff. You don't, you don't care if you go to court. Yes. But uh, yeah, it's like I haven't driven in a long time because. I have um, the metro, the local metro system, and I can get a, I can go so many places in the Washington D.C. Maryland area uh, using using the metro system, and uh, because I can do that, it's cheaper. The metro system or uh, the subway, if you will, but we call it the metro around here. Uh, or I think I'm not sure what's the difference between a subway and a metro. Is there a difference? I'm not sure. Anyways. The, uh, the subway system, the underground, the, the metro, it's just, it's way cheaper than, uh, than driving. And so either I walk, ride my bicycle, or use the metro system just about wherever I go, unless, unless it's outside, uh, unless it's outside the metro area. Uh, no, I'm just using the keys, but I, I think I have, I have a very old steering wheel. I wonder if my very old steering wheel would work for this. I have a very, very old gaming steering wheel. There is a lot of gaming... St I need to... I, I want to get a gaming ste steering wheel, because that would make this a lot better, but no. I'm just using the good old keyboard. Which is why, uh... Which is why I'm, I'm doing it in bits. That's why I'm not s steering, like, completely smoothly. You can tell it's like the analog. The analog. Or no. Digital style instead of analog. Yeah, whatever, you, you know what I mean. Where it's just, it's a one and a zero, not... Yeah, it's not... That's why it's not analog steering. Oh, wait. Is this... I'm gonna have to pull a U-turn if I do this. <laughs> Whoops! Yeah, I should have gone the other way if I wanted to merge. Okay, somebody wasn't looking at the road system here. Alright, can I, uh... Will I be able to do this? How far am I gonna have to go before I can... Whoops! That's kind of bad. Can I fit through that? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Alright, looks like somebody's gonna have to pull one of his famous U-turns around here. Ooh, how, 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 how far am I gonna have to go? Ah, you bought the cheapest possible steering wheel just for this game. Nice. I can understand. 
I really should have been reading the map there. Yeah, if I went, I went in the middle and then come up, I could have gone around. I didn't read the ah crap. And there, there has to be a guardrail too. Oh goodness, am I gonna have to go all the way, all the way down this way before I can turn around? Oh goodness gracious, what have I just done? And also, my character's tired. Okay, well, I just screwed up pretty badly. That's all right. We'll get there in the end. It's gonna. Yeah, go ahead. You can post the video in the Discord. That's fine. All right, so if I get to that gas station, maybe we can turn around. Somebody needs to go in reverse. <laughs> I don't think that would end very well for me. <laughs> driving. I wonder. I wonder if they give you a fine for driving the run wrong way down the streets. <laughs> oh, because yeah. I could just drive the opposite direction down the road. I think that would end rather poorly for me. Is there a way I can... Yeah, there's a there's an area I can cross over there. Okay. We're gonna pull in here. I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna get some fuel. I'm gonna pretend that never happens. Alright. Alright, so my guy gets some sleep. How's my fuel doing? How's my fuel doing? Half. Might as well get some fuel. Don't lose your trailer there. Right, fuel it up. Ah, the sequel is a GPS. Well, that's important. Okay. Clear. Can't really see over there. Let's go! Euro goodies. What a lovely name. Yes, uh... Did I, um... Did I have a choice in that? I'm not sure if I had a choice in the, the brand name I'm hauling for or whatever. Ah. This is why I need a mobile device. What, for GPS? Oh, one for chat and one for computer games. <laughs> I also, you need, I need a mobile device just to chat <laughs> as well. If you say so. I wouldn't mind a mobile device just for, yeah, for gaming on the go and that sort of thing. That's for sure. Alright, let's, let's finally get to our destination. Alright, so I'm getting a little bit better at this. Yeah, certainly I'm not good at navigating. The second monitor would do fine as well, yeah. Well, I mean, I am, I'm looking at the second monitor to read the chat over there. What I do need to do is I need to place my monitor in a better location, since my second monitor's down there, my main monitor's right here, so it's like I look here to talk, I look down here to look at your chats, and then sometimes I'm looking off the road and I crash, <laughs> or do something stupid. What's that say? Can't read it. Not a very good billboard if you can't read it very easily. Needs a lot. That one needs a larger font, or something like that. Clearly, billboards are effective though, because I was curious. What, what's that say? Particularly like a billboard in a video game. I'm curious. <laughs> what would they make the billboard in the video game about? Okay, you don't wait. What am I doing? Don't take that turn. We're just going straight. Yeah. What are you? What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and I'll actually indicate and get to the side for the sake of the merging traffic. I gotta remember to indicate. <laughs> Make me mods or I'll kill you. <laughs> well, that's. that's. well, what a good. What a good way to request for mod or what a good moderator request, obviously. Obviously I'll have to accept that. <laughs> this is like the best obviously you'd want obviously you want a murderer as a moderator. That's like that's the best kind of moderator. The type that threatens you and others. <laughs> Rules chat with an iron fist. As long as you as long as you as long as you make sure to murder 
<laughs> Any, anyone who gets out of line will also be murdered. He will get run over by a truck. Yes. That too. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, there is a limit on symbols as well. Because I have, I have had issues with people flooding the chat with symbols, just like, spamming it like crazy, so... I definitely feel like that, uh, we're gonna keep that... That limit. Alright. Red lights. These are important. I didn't realize these were actually important before, but they actually are. The game actually bloody cares. The game doesn't care about yellow lights, but red lights? <laughs> oh, and now now you've even changed your symbol to match mine. But at least you call yourself Evil Tegan, so there's no confusion. I trusted engineer. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. Yeah, we're still green. Let's go. Stop indicating. Right, this is the place, right? Alright. We made it! Almost. Alright. I like to drive from the cabin, but I'll allow myself a separate view for this one, because basically, I'm assuming that like somebody is helping me unload, like you know, you got like a friend that's looking over your shoulder going back up, back up, back up, it's good, stop, you know? But it's, I don't think, I don't think it's fair to be outside the cab in other parts of sim the simulation if, if you're trying to be completely realistic, which, I don't know. Alright, headlight usage, only 50 euros! Actually, that's rather reasonable. That's rather reasonable. Easy mode, exactly. You can't, you can't use the other views too much without that, uh that being called into question. Alright. So anyways, let's take another job. Ah, you're still looking... <laughs> you're still, um... Oh, a trusted engineer from T from TF2. Like, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's this Mered, that's for sure. I know it's you. <laughs> or I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's you, anyways. Anyways, uh... So where am I? Yeah, I'm here now. But let's uh, let's deliver something back to Warsaw, like uh, like yogurt. Ah, but we're we're doing it with Euro goodies. That's why it's a Euro goodies trailer. Okay, so delivering. Yeah, from we're at Prague, deliver it to Warsaw, right? I'm not taking a job at Warsaw, right? I didn't just take a job in Warsaw. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> okay. The people of Warsaw will get their yogurts, for they, they love yogurts. Ah, you can stick your head out the window in the other one. Okay, I just scraped, I just scraped. I'm scraping, okay. Yeah, I need, I need to use this view just to hook up, hook it up. Just to, just to, just to hook things up and to finish things off. I'll use this view just a little bit. But I'm kind of pretending that I got a friend outside that's like, okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, you're good, you're good. And then, but he's not with me. He's not with me for the rest of the trip, you know? So I gotta, I gotta do the rest of the game in the cabin. But for now, I'll allow myself to do that. Okay, we're going to Warsaw. We can just take the, uh, the E67 the whole way there. And we're good. Making a left turn here, you guys. Let me out. Yeah, it helps reversing a lot. Oh, try doing it in this game. It, wait. If you move the camera to the left, the camera will imitate you. I don't think I can... I don't think I can do that. Well, okay, you can honk at me all you like, buddy, but, uh, you know, there, there are cars in front of me that are holding me up. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can do that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm turning my mouse to the left as far as I can go, but it's not like sticking my head out the window or nothing. So, I don't, I don't think they have that feature in this one, do they? Yeah, yeah, apparently. That's okay, though. 
What, 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 what are we doing here? What are we doing, guys? What's going on? You guys, you waited through the whole green light. What's going on? What's going on here, people? <laughs> what has... What? 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 Somebody go, for the love of God. That's it. I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue. I'm going... Oh, wait. Red light. <laughs> I mean, what's going on here, people? What's going on? I, I'm going to obey the red light, though. <laughs> Just because I don't want the fine. Although, I think there should be a fine for driving on the sidewalk. <laughs> Alright, going rogue here, people. <laughs> Just because this is not a normal situation. Alright, then. I don't know what the heck was going on there. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird and funny. Alright. God, that like took like half a day. My character's tired already. My character's gonna need some sleep. Okay, let's go. Technically, I went at the yellow. <laughs> what would... What, what, <laughs> it drives me nuts. It, that, that's one of those things that drives me nuts in real life, too. When, when somebody just waits through an entire green light and doesn't go. I mean, I guess there was kind of a traffic jam situation there, but... So it seemed more legitimate, but... You know, it, you know how, like, there are people that will just be, like, sitting... Particularly, I guess, maybe in America. I'm not sure how much of a European issue this is. Well, it's probably European, too. Yeah, probably. But anyways. Um, where people will just be doing stuff on their cell phones. When am I taking... When I take... I take the left here. So I'm not going right. So I want to go here. Wait, this that's not right. No, I... Yeah, yeah, or that that's that way. I go this one... And it still loops around. But yeah, then I can... Okay, yeah, I understand. It's a little confusing, but I understand. This will get me on the right side? I think so. I think so. Okay. Just the, I'm a little bit confused on the map, but that, that makes sense. But anyways, they'll just be sitting there on their cell phones. And they'll be sitting there on their cell phones at a green light. Through the whole green light. And it's like, ev there's like, there's like five people behind you. You know, why don't you go, you know, and you wait through the whole green light. <laughs> it's like, I'll, I'll, I'll put on a little bit of a horn there, you know. I'll do like the little beep, 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 beep. Not like the, not like the whole laying on the horn, but like a tap, tap, like, hey, hey, hey. You know, wake up, wake up, hey, wake up, the gripe is green, hey. <laughs> kind of like one of those things. I, you know what? That should be the death sentence. <laughs> or that should be the death sentence, you know, that too. Yeah. You'd, you'd be surprised at how often it happens where somebody's just sitting there on their cell phone, not paying attention to like the six or seven people stacked up behind them and is like, okay, I just want to use the cell phone while I'm while I'm sitting here. Oh, stop. Yeah, maybe you should stop the engine before you fuel up. <laughs> okay. I'll get my fuel. Tank is full. And I'm gonna get some rest. But generally, generally, when people, someone pisses me off, you know, I usually give them a tap. A tap on the horn before I go full on blaring on the horn. Because, you know, it's less like a lighter, hey, you visited Prague twice. Nice. Because, you know, it, it kind of indicates your anger level. Because if you lay on the horn, that's when you're asking someone to, like, try to, you know, beat the crap out of you. You're asking for one of those thugs to, like, stop in front of you and try to, like, get into a fist fight or something. <laughs> and, you know, that's one of those things that kind of surprises me is road rage. There's a lot of road rage out there, my friends. And, um, I think it has something to do with the anonymity of the road. Like, you know, y y you, you don't... Ah, it is Friday for you. <laughs> okay, because it's, because it's after midnight. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry it's my red, but I don't... I don't just take orders from my audience. I don't do... I don't... I, I, I take requests, but I don't... I don't just do whatever people ask. Light horn, then heavy horn. Bumping cars back, then baseball from trunk. Baseball bat from trunk, yes. That makes sense. But, uh... It's, uh... You know, I'd have to set up the whole event. I, and I have to do... To do a YouTube event, you have to set up tags and do the title and all that stuff. So, yeah. I've already got my schedule. I already got my schedules lined up. Ah. 
Well, th thank you, Victor Campbell. I am in I'm surprised at how much I'm enjoying myself. I, you know, I thought this game... When looking at it, it's like most times... It's like simulators. Well, Flight Simulator was kind of fun, I gotta say. But, you know, oftentimes simulators can be a bit boring. Like, I played, uh... I, I, I got a copy of Train. What was it? The Train Simulator. For free. But Train Simulator was kind of boring, honestly. But, uh... This is actually kind of interesting. Because, uh... The physics are kind of realistic and stuff. It makes me feel like I'm really... Oops, lights. Makes me feel like I'm really driving a truck. And it makes me feel like I have that, uh level of responsibility in the physics and the physics the trailer physics and stuff there it, it's I gotta say it's it's uh I'm having more fun than I expected that's well I'll put I'll put it that way it just it seemed like the concept the concept seemed boring as hell honestly just on paper <laughs> you you're, you're, you're why don't you play truck simulator yeah you drive a truck well how's that different from being a trucker well it isn't really that different from being a trucker but uh you know, not, not as much consequences. <laughs> Once you woke up in the middle of the night, you couldn't back, get back to sleep, so you played uh, Euro Truck uh, Simulator. Or, so you went Euro Trucking for an hour. That works. Um, and it's certainly kind of relaxing. Like, uh, I guess driving, driving in real life can be kind of... kind of um, tedious. And, uh... Well, it can be... Uh, it can be exhausting. Driving can be exhausting in real life, but... I don't know, somehow this is a bit more relaxing. It's hard to put my finger on exactly how, but... It's, it's more relaxing than, uh, than real driving. What comes next? Uh, well, you should be able to see that on my main um, YouTube page. You should be able to see my schedule, or the event schedule for today. But... I can, I can still just go ahead and tell you, it's The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and Stardew Valley, as that's my normal uh, Thursday uh, schedule. The typical Thursday schedule, th th that's fine. That's fine if you're lazy. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying that's where to find it if you want to find it in the future. But, uh, The Witcher 3 and Stardew Valley, those are the things that are going to happen today. Tomorrow, it will be Enter the Gungeon and... Uh, what was the other game that people wanted me to play on Friday? Oh, I'm forgetting the other one. Uh, SCP, right. SCP Containment Breach. We'll do Enter the Gungeon at 7 and SCP at 10. Uh, Alien Swarm Reactive Drop? Uh, I guess I could do that again. Ah, when you get back to your house. When you get back to your house. Okay, sure. I was gonna say, um, I'm not sure if I'll do it on Friday. I mean, I guess I could do it on Friday, but no, when you... Sure, yeah, sure, whenever you get back to your house, I can try to make time for that. As long as it uh, fits into one of my... As long as I can do it at 4 or 7 or 10, because that's when I usually do it. Hey, Amadeus! Trucking! Woo! <laughs> trucking woo indeed. <laughs> it's, I'm actually having more fun trucking than I, uh, than I ever expected. And, um, I liked your stream last night. I, uh... The, um... Like, the end of the month. That works. That works, it's my red. If you give me plenty of time in advance, I can definitely make that work. Um, so anyways, yeah, I liked, uh, I liked your, uh, your, um, your Minecraft stream last night. Uh, well, I haven't seen it yet, but, uh, the video, but you're asking other people, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that I don't know, but, uh, yeah, it looked interesting. It certainly looked interesting. Can't say I've, um... Uh, I haven't played or watched... I haven't played or watched much, uh, Minecraft, so... It was a thing to do. You're very welcome. And, uh... You feel like a bot? Oh, Amadeus, maybe. Me? <laughs> uh... Well, I'm a floating head. Yes, we need those yogurts. Focus. Don't, uh, don't go off the road. <laughs> the Warsaw needs the yogurts. But yeah, like that, that mini ender, or the ender, like it was kind of neat when you fought that one, or, um, I think, I think those are more typical, but, uh, 
Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what was new about that mod, since I don't know Minecraft, what Minecraft is like, uh, typically, but... I like the idea of the random generated world concept. And if you can make the game challenging, then that looks like a lot of fun, I gotta say. So... Yeah. I, I might have to get into Minecraft at a certain point. It's, uh... I don't see that being a bad thing. Especially with the mods. With the mods nowadays, with the right mods, it seems like Minecraft could be a real blast. Ah. <laughs> Amadeus does seem like a boss. <laughs> but he does. He does. He does do things like a boss. Like a boss. There are. There are a lot of interesting mod packs. So yeah, that's... It's like, um... Originally, like vanilla. Vanilla Minecraft didn't grab my interest that much. It was like, uh... Originally, Minecraft was like a glorified sandbox. I mean, it's kind of cool. The things you can make with the blocks. Are you going... Where are you going with, with, with your truck? I am going to Warsaw to deliver the yogurts. The people of Warsaw need need yogurts. But also like a bot? If you, fair enough, if, if you say so. I mean, um, he does have... He does have a very grammatically uh, correct way of talking. Ah, invasion. That, uh, that, that is a very, a very hard pack. Sounds good. But I wouldn't call Amadeus' way of talking exactly, like, bot-like. Well... Well, we both... Both me and Amadeus do have a way of saying certain things, like indeed. We both say indeed a lot to certain things, so... I mean, <laughs> I've had bot-like behavior in my past too, so... Um, I guess the accusation makes a certain amount of sense, but, uh... I don't see how that's a bad thing. <laughs> Just means you can, uh, you can, you can fool people on the, t the, the Turing test. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's all that means. But, I mean, we, we both do that, so... I don't really see that. Whoa! I didn't quite see that van as I was merging. Okay. I was pretty close to a crash there. We don't want to mess up the yogurts. There's an invasion mod for Mountain Blade. It involves Jedi fighting zombies and stuff. Well, that sounds interesting. That sounds very unique. But yeah, uh... Anyways. <laughs> Say, now you're saying hello to yourself? <laughs> oh, you're, you're a silly person there, it's my red. There's a there's a game that just came out yesterday. It's only 15 bucks, but it's uh like I said before, it's like um it's like Left 4 Dead with aliens. And uh Yeah, I I think I might want to uh I might want to try to get that because it looked pretty cool. But I I again, I forget the name of it. So I keep forgetting the name. But it looks really cool. But yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't mean any offense by what I said there earlier, Amadeus, naturally, because I mean, I think it's, uh, I think it's quite endearing to be, well, to be grammatically correct and everything. All right, I, you know, I, <laughs> I don't mind. I, you know, I, I like, I like the way Amadeus talks. That's what I should say. But there's this typical phrase that a lot of us rely on. <laughs> Good, okay. Just making sure, just making sure. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you can go through that barrier. Okay, fine. You can go through that barrier. That, that's the edge of the world for me. Didn't expect you to do that. Right. Oh, wait. This is not the place. This is the, this is the depot. Zoom in your map. Okay, how am I feeling? My character's tired, though. Sorry, I was indicating in the wrong area. Alright. The people of Warsaw need their yogurt. Oh, oh, red, 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 red light. It's yellow now, isn't it, though? Is it yellow now? Now it's green. Uh, now I can see it's green. I can barely see the shine of the lights. Okay. <laughs> Somebody, I was, I was focusing too much on getting the yogurts there quickly. I almost got a red light uh, violation. Let's see if we can line this up like a master. Straighten things out. Straighten things out. It's kind of awkward there. Not getting it straight. Get yourself straight. Ah, that worked. Okay, cool. I did it without the rear view. <laughs> yes, I did say red. <laughs> I was saying red as in red lights. <laughs> oh, but that works. Congratulations, star completed. What do you mean? What do you mean, star completed? Also, can I upgrade my truck now? Oh, not here. Not here. Okay. All right, then. I guess let's take our next job. Star complete. Don't know what they mean. I also don't know what supply percentages are about. But apparently, apples are popular today. <laughs> 60 seconds. <laughs> okay, I'll check that out. Whatever that game is. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> the evil Tegan thing will... I mean, at least you're not using my... I'm glad you're us that you had the, the courtesy to add the word evil to the Tegan. Otherwise, um, that would get a bit confusing for people. And, um, well, honestly, also... Oh, wait, did I forget the trailer? I forgot the trailer. I left the trailer back there. Well, we'll get the trailer in a second. But otherwise, it's like, uh, people wouldn't be able to tell the difference because I don't have, like, the verified check mark yet. <laughs> yeah. And so... I'm not, you know, obviously, I wouldn't appreciate somebody doing things with my exact name. <laughs> unless, uh, unless there was a little bit of, um, a distinction there. Alright, so I can upgrade the power and handling and fuel consumption of said truck. I got to upgrade the fuel consumption, at least. Okay, so... I'll do the fuel consumption at least, but otherwise the next truck. Oh, I can keep upgrading it. Okay, well let's uh, yeah, let's totally upgrade. You know what? Ah, eh, what the hey? Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade a little bit more power too. More power, more. You know what? I'll just I'll buy a new truck later. I'll buy a new truck later. I was gonna say I want to save up for a new truck, but now well, let's not save up for the new truck. Let's uh, my blue my blue bomber here is doing good. And I'm not gonna should I repaint it? I'm not gonna repaint the thing. Wait, did you say headlight usage offense? Headlight uses a fence, but, 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 I was in a parking lot. I was in a parking lot. What do you mean, headlight usage a fence? I was just, I was sleeping in a parking lot. You can't give me a headlight usage a fence there. I, that I, I protest the headlight usage a fence. The head, <laughs> what do you mean, headlight usage a fence there? There? There of all places? I... I, uh, I do protest your, uh, your, um, your, your, your usage offense on, against me. I was in the parking lot. I was just about to go to sleep, and they go, headlight usage. You saw when they gave me that. I was not on the road. I was not on the road. I was not on the road. I thought, I thought, like, headlight usage offense was a road. That was a roadway. That's a road, that's a road violation, not a parking, it's not a parking lot violation, it's a road violation. Isn't that what they call it? Shenanigans! I'm gonna take that to court. 
I don't care if I'm taking up both lanes. The rules of the road. <laughs> ah, the skyscrapers in the background are quite, quite accurate. Right, because it's good old. This is Warsaw. Yeah, we could take uh, we could take a, a trip around Warsaw. Right. It looks nice. I gotta say, looks quite nice. Could you uh, could you get out of the way there, my friend? Trade ducks. Thank you. All right, let's get that trailer. Right. Let's let's stick in first person. Let's stick in first person. Up, back it up. Get a hook now. Yep. Hook. There we are. <laughs> I get a headlight violation at night. I mean, I get a headlight violation when I'm about to go to sleep in a parking lot. Hey, you there. You can't sleep without your lights on. <laughs> what do you mean? You, you you sleep with your lights on. You sleep with your lights on. But it's hard to sleep with my lights on. No, you sleep, you gotta sleep. You gotta turn on your lights and then sleep. Alright. A green checkered shirt. That'd be pretty crazy. That'd be that'd be pretty crazy looking. So let's uh, let's look around. Let's look around. Or is oh the light's green. I'm sorry. I was looking around. Now now I'm the guy hanging around in a at a green light. But yeah. Don't know what what part of Warsaw we're in. Some refineries. Is there, is there many refineries in Warsaw? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I almost didn't break in time. I uh, I had a little bit more momentum than I expected. This thing, with the power upgrade, I can feel I can feel the power upgrade. I can certainly feel the power upgrade because I didn't expect to uh, accelerate quite that fast. Any refineries in the area? I don't know. All right, again, going back to Prague. We can just take this road all the way there, right? You go down this road, you hook up on the E67, it's pretty simple. And are the road, are the road names right? Is there like an E67 outside of Warsaw? There's uh... The, the trees kind of look uh... Cardboard-like. Otherwise... Yeah, this is interesting, I gotta say. No refineries, it's a hoax. Okay. <laughs> And it makes sense. You don't have any refineries there. Well, in Euro Truck Simulator there is. Euro coaches. Huh. So I wonder if I can take missions from there too. Interesting. I I, I ought to try exploring sometime. After this. Slow, 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 slow down. Yeah, I almost went over that uh, red light. I mean, I, I did, I did, I went over the line. Uh, technically, you did go over the line there, buddy. But, uh, well, most, most police officers don't, uh, if you go over the line, most police officers don't actually fine you in America either. It's just, if you go, if you, if you actually cross the red, going over the line a little bit, you could potentially get a ticket for going over the line, but usually they just give you a glare. Like a dirty look, like, you know what you did there. <laughs> Don't do it again. It's usually one of those warning situations where, hey... Also, Warsaw has more than four streets. <laughs> yeah, I, you know... I mean, it looks like that there was more to Warsaw that they weren't letting me go into, but no. It's just the four streets. It's a very, a very small place. <laughs> a very small place, Warsaw. Alright, downshift. 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 Upshift. Alright. There we are. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny, though. <laughs> well, cheer up there, it's my red. Don't be lonely. You can be your own greatest company. If you put your mind to it. You can... Well, uh, well then develop mo multiple personalities. <laughs> and, uh, your neighborhood it, uh, back at home is full of old people? Ah, well, old people can be entertaining. Not all, not all old people are boring. There's some very cool old people. So, uh, I guess the bigger problem is that the, pe the, the old people in your area are boring. Because, I don't know, bo old people, they can, old people can play video games and, and do fun stuff just like any of us. It's just that oftentimes they don't. 
because they've got, uh... Because usually old people are set in their ways, that's all. Usually old people, yeah. Well, I mean, once you've lived a long life, you're, you're bound to become set in your ways, that's all. So that's why they don't come, come outside at all. Yeah, yeah, because they've, they're set in their ways. That, that makes sense. Once you've lived a long life, that tends to happen. You know, um... People... People... Old people tend not to be wild and random. <laughs> because, uh, well, they know what they like. They know what they like. They're not... The old people aren't associated with trying new things and, like, doing that kind of stuff, but... Occasionally, occasionally you'll meet an old person who is just as entertaining as any young person, and sometimes even more so, just doing crazy stuff and, like, that kind of thing. And, um... Yeah, you, you probably. Yeah, you could take a bicycle. Or... <laughs> Bicycly. You can take a bicycle and ride to people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you meant bicycle, but. <laughs> um, unless there's a uh, an electric scooter. That sounds pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of a uh, I've heard of electric. I've heard of bicycles that have electric motors too, like electric assisted. Oh, hey, don't uh, go off the road. Um, like bicycles with like electric uh, with like electric motors, so. They sound really cool, too. Ah. One of our workers in our neighborhood has a, a pool. Cool. That's a, I, swimming, swimming is one of my favorite ways to get exercise. I love swimming. I'm, I'm like a natural... I've always been a bit of a natural swimmer. In that uh, I just feel comfortable in water. I've always felt... Because, uh, you know... I had like... We had like a swimming, a swimming hole on the farm I grew up on. And so since I was like, uh, like I learned to swim when I was like four or five, like really young. So it's just like, uh, water has always felt kind of natural to me. It's like, it kind of surprises me that people can drown, <laughs> quite frankly. I mean, I can understand drowning in like really cold water, but otherwise like, you know, I can tread, I can tread water on my back. I can, I can be, I can be in water almost indefinitely without like drowning because I can tread water in fresh water. I can, so it's easier to tread water in salt water. Although at sea, the difference between a lake and the ocean is that the ocean's very turbulent. <laughs> yes, uh, I was I was getting a little bit off course there. <laughs> Definitely watch watch the road. I I almost I almost hit I almost hit a car. Oh, speeding offense. I that makes sense. The I mean that makes sense. The power. I didn't. I used to not. Uh, uh, what is tr treading like floating? Floating on water. Tread treading water. Like when you can just lay back. I can just lay back on fresh water and just relax like I'm lounging in a lounge chair. <laughs> so, um, but salt water, admittedly out in the ocean, it's not flat, you know? You can have like stormy weather in the, o in the ocean. And so it's like, if I try to tread water out in the ocean, even though the salt would provide additional buoyancy, the waves would, you know, throw water in your, down your throat and stuff. Yeah, it's, well, some people, not everyone. That's surprising. There's a surprising number of people who, when they get in the water, they just panic. They just panic and they start, like, grabbing at the water and flailing and stuff. So, uh, it seems like everyone should be able to do that. It seems easy. It seems easy. I'm totally with you, Mets My Red. It seems easy, but, uh, you'd be surprised. If, like, if you were to throw, if you were to throw the population, the Earth's population into various pools of water, how many people would end up drowning? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess. And don't go to the beach and get salt water in your eyes. Oh, oh. Okay, so, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know this game cared about the speed limit, but it makes sense. I couldn't, it says 90, okay. I couldn't, before, before my truck wasn't powerful enough to get past the speed limit. But now it can. Now it has the power. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta obey the speed limits. It's no fun. It's no fun obeying the speed limit, though. I want to. I want to speed. I want to be a speed trucker. All right. So I want to go just about exactly ninety. I want to go exactly ninety. <laughs> Looks like these guys are going faster than me. Just don't hit a hundred. And yes, good to see you again, Vladimir. Welcome back. All right. Looks like everyone else around me is going a bit faster, quite frankly. Is the speed limit higher than I thought? Oh, right, it's not miles, it's kilometers. Right, kilometers an hour. What am I saying, miles per hour? 
<laughs> of course, of course. The rest of the world's a bit more enlightened. The metric system. Why? Why does America not use the uh, metric system? I mean, uh, it's like we talked about converting to the metro uh, me metro system, the metric system. In like, uh, we t we started talking about converting to the metric system in like the late '80s and early '90s, but uh, then we never did it. We never did it, and we're just too com too too comfortable. But it's like uh, the metric system is just better. It's just better. I mean, there's there's no. Uh, I mean, that's the long. I, you know, I could go into the whole thing, but it's just, it's just, just, it's just freaking better. That's just, just, there's this. Uh, I mean, I'm not used to seeing kilometers an hour. I have to do a little bit of a conversion in my head, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, it's it's more efficient. It's so more efficient to, to just do things with a head. <laughs> yeah, it's only my head streaming today, not the rest of me, because uh, the rest of me is off doing other things. Like, uh, what was it? Baron Munchausen. The, if, if you guys have ever seen the movie Baron Munchausen, it's like my head. My head is doing doing intellectual pursuits while my body is off doing body things. You know, bodily pursuits. <laughs> it's, it's just doing stuff that you know a body would want to do. <laughs> Stop the engine. Okay. Oh, uh, but I do have magic floating hands that you'll see occasionally. All right, so I got my rest. Get some fuel, but I'm doing okay for fuel. I'm doing okay for fuel, so we're not going to bother with that for a second. All right, right. I don't need that point of view. I don't need that point of view. I'm okay. I don't. I. I, I can. I can do things without. Uh, without easy mode. Anyone coming? All right. Indicating. Oh, you, you don't have to stop for me. Sorry. I was. Was I? Was my nose out too far? Thanks for stopping, though. By the way. Okay. Now I can go. Now I can go. We're cool. I think my nose is a bit too far out. Oh, headlight! Damn it! I forgot my headlights. Okay. The third. Third headlight offense. Yeah, streaming for hours may put stress in your spine, so just stream with a head. But yeah, if you haven't seen the movie Baron Munchausen, I recommend you watch the movie Baron Munchausen. Because there's a scene with Robin Williams. Robin Williams is the king of the moon. And the king of the moon. The king of the moon and the moon people. He can detach his head. His head comes to whoa, his head comes flying off, and it can fly around. And uh, and then when the head's detached, it goes around and does intellectual things. But then the bodies, the bodies of the people on the moon, like Robin Williams, Robin Williams' body, the king of the moon, he it's the 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 but the torso is tr constantly trying to capture the head. And whenever they capture the head, then then the head becomes in, under control of the, of the body. And then it's like the body forces the head to eat like a bunch of stuff, eat like a bunch of disgusting food, and uh, and like uh, I don't know, do sexual things and stuff too. Yeah, like have sex with the queen and stuff. All all the body wants to do is do body stuff, whereas the head wants to do intellectual stuff. What's the sign say? Something about safety? I uh, I can't read it. So okay, it only lets me look over that far. So all right, we got we got things to do, places to be. All right, we're still going to Prague, but it's it's a hoot. It's a hoot. And, um... And just everything else with that movie, so... Definitely... Baron Munchausen. If you take anything away from this stream besides my terrible driving, it's that Baron Munchausen is a funny film. And you should watch it. Oh, I'm... Oh, you were merging? I didn't see you over there. And I wasn't merging. I was in the merging. Ah, crap. Okay. Well, that was... That was... That was... I didn't see him. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm getting a number of offenses today. That's, uh... That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> well, anyways, let's pretend that never happened. So, wait, we got a headlight offense, we got a speeding offense, careful about the speeding offense, and one crash offense. <laughs> but, yeah, uh... Yeah, yeah, watch Baron Munchausen, it's good. And, uh... And America... Let's get on the metric system already. I can I can deal with the metric system. I can deal with it. I mean, it's a little confusing for me as well. You know, I'm not used to kilometers per hour versus miles per hour, so it's like... I am very offensive today. <laughs> I am very offensive today. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I can handle it. I can handle the conversion. I think we can, maybe we can handle uh, the conversion in general as a country. I mean, let's do it. Let's let's convert to the metric system. 
Why isn't why isn't there a bigger call, a bigger demand for converting to the metric system? I mean, England, England, yeah, get rid of retard units. You're darn right. Uh, cause um, England, England, we got our imperial system from England, and England no longer even uses it. The people who invented the system we are using no longer uses it. I mean, if that's if that's any indication, you should switch. Uh, or if there's a stronger indication that you should switch, I don't know it. I don't know what it is, quite frankly. So yes, yes. Let's 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 get off of this. I uh, I am a person who is fully in support of switching to the metric system in America. I don't know about you guys, but uh, yes, this is. I think this is the right thing to do. And the sooner we do it, the better. You know, we can't just keep putting it off. It's like putting off. Putting off switching to the metric system is like putting off, uh, taking out the trash or something. It's, it's, it's not gonna, you're not helping anything. It's just gonna be worse when you, it's just gonna be worse when you have to do it later. Is that, uh, it's not exactly straight. Not exactly straight. Alright, you have to stop. Ah, uh, you have to tap the button twice, that confuses me. You have to stop. Okay, that's why I take, it's like I take so long to re reverse. There we go. Okay, 4,000, minus 400 for the crash. That's actually not... 400 euros for a crash actually isn't so bad. 250 for a speeding. That seems pretty high. That, while while this, the, the crash seems low, the speeding seems high. Oh, two headlight offenses. Right, I got the headlight offense when... Uh, I got the headlight offense when I uh, was parking. Right. Star complete. <laughs> A boo dislike, it's been two hours. Yes, it has been two hours, that's for sure. Okay. I don't know what star completed means, but uh, yeah, let's make another trip to Warsaw. Apparently in the, pe the people of Warsaw need their apples. Is that like the best thing I can? Tomatoes, tomatoes. Okay, let's take the tomatoes. Go easy there. But yeah, I'll, um, I'll be wrapping things up. Can we just save at any time? Yeah, I'll be wrapping things up in the next four minutes here. Because, yeah, it is. Go off the grid before you end. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I do not know what you mean. Like, uh, just drive... Drive off wherever you want. <laughs> I could just drive somewhere crazy. Ah, we have a lot of apples. Russia embargoed your apples? They did. Well, that's... that's a shame. Why would Russia do something silly like that? Well, obviously for trade reasons. Uh, or obviously, not for trade reasons, but for, uh... Well, for... for political reasons, we'll just put it that way. Or maybe just for, uh... Nationalism? Either it has something to do with nationalism or politics. But, uh... that's silly. That's silly. Cause it seems like that just make that hurt economic prosperity in general when you do when you use that. Go crazy with the truck. Or papers, please. Ah. Fair enough, Amadeus. Thanks for dropping by, I appreciate it. Alright. Yeah, I can save the game and go a little bit because I'll be able to load game, so I can go a little bit crazy with the truck. Yeah, yeah, why not? Save the game. <laughs> We're gonna save the game as um Alright, so if I load game... Yeah, unsaved progress will be lost. Like, uh, yeah, this this game... This game lets you save your progress. And like, I don't have to... I don't have to worry about the consequences of my actions too much here, do I? Okay, yeah, we can load the game. Yeah, let's go crazy, let's go crazy. It's the last couple of minutes of the stream. I've gone rogue. <laughs> let's see how much damage we can do. Alright, I'm allowing myself to use this point of view so we can, uh... So we can see the carnage. All right, let's go. Let's go cause some carnage. <laughs> Poland wa wanted to get Na to NATO, get to NATO rocket, or to get NATO rocket shield, and Russia didn't like that. Okay. All right, so I can also get. I keep t taking missions with Euro goodies, but I could take a mission with NF, uh, NBFG in 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 the future. <laughs> ah, because the rocket shield. Rocket Shield threatens their ability to threaten Europe. Okay, so, like... Like the... so... 
to get NATO rocket shield built. Okay, so, um, like, NATO is going to help you guys build a rocket shield in Poland, and the rock and having a rocket shield in Poland will affect this the sphere of influence of of uh, of Russia's missiles. Yeah, that makes sense. This is as fast as this thing's letting me go. This is as fast as it gets with the trailer. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dump my trailer. Once I see some traffic, I'm gonna jut across the road and I'm gonna dump my trailer. Can I just dump it? No, wait. Oh, you can't just dump it at full s- I wanna dump my trailer while going full street speed. <laughs> we're gonna make a barricade. We're gonna find some traffic and we're gonna make a barricade. Wrong way offense. I don't care. I don't care if <laughs> we're going the wrong way. It looks like, it looks like it, um, I was trying to go off the road, but it actually, I actually run into an invisible wall there, so that's as far as I can go. Alright. Yeah, what I can do is, that's right, I can drive in a funny way and make my trailer loose. Aha! You there! <laughs> Feel the power of my barricade truck. Head-on collision! Haha, <laughs> take that, you. Alright, we need more, we need more cars to mess with. We need a few more cars to mess with. I like the scraping noise. Yes, make a wall out of the trailer. Yes. Oh, more, more vehicles will come. There we go. Did the windows get smashed? Alright, are you trying to get by my barricade? Make a wall, you're a pure... Yes, make a wall, Euro goodies will pay for it. There's no getting through my barricade. I like the scratching noises. <laughs> I am the king of the road. I own this area. <laughs> Two blonde these blonde ladies just look they just look confused. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> you go over here. You go over here. I'm going to put you there. You just sit right there. You sit right there, you. Can I get a ramp? Let's let's ramp off this. Let's see if I can ramp off of the edge of this. Woohoo! No, that's not really much of a ramp. Oh, I might be stuck now. Alright, I may have gotten myself stuck. Come on. Come on, Valiant. I was hoping I'd get myself a bit of a ramp in there, but... Not really much of a ramp there. <laughs> okay, am I stuck? I'm, I'm, I'm hovering. I'm hovering. I'm physically hovering right now. I, I don't think the game wanted me to be here. <laughs> the game does not like the fact that I got myself in this position. What the heck? Did, did you just see that physics explosion? My, car my, my, my truck just kind of spun out in a weird way. Maybe I can cross. I'm going to cross this. And we'll get my trailer back. All right, we got to continue blocking traffic. I think some traffic has gotten through, and that's that's illegal. It's illegal. This is my road. This is my road. Are you guys still here? Yeah, yeah, you're still here. Yes, this is my blockade. You, you cannot, you cannot pass either. You will not. You shall not pass. <laughs> All right. Come on, you two. Let's get you to the other side of the road. No, you get back here. You get back here. Get back here. I want to push you to the other side of the road. Don't do it. Did you just honk at me? Did you just honk at me, the king of the road? Now you're going to this side of the road now. You're going to this side of the road now. All this traffic's... You gotta go to the other side of the road. You gotta go to the other side of the road. I'm... I'm hauling people to the wrong side of the road. Get over there. Okay, you guys can go. Hey, go on. Go on, go through. Trust me, it's fine. Come on. I'm not gonna ram you. Alright, yes, I am. I lied. Come on. There we go. Push you out slightly. Get you to the other side of the road. Oh, you can't? Is it a physical? Oh, there we go. There's a physical barrier. Just gonna scrape you over here. Just slowly. I love the scraping noise. Oh, NBFC! NBFC, my competition! How dare you! 
How dare you, NBFC? How dare you compete with me, the king of the road? It is a duel, I say. Take that, you. You will also be my barricade. If I can if I can dismount his trailer, I can keep his <laughs> I can keep his ill-gotten gains. Yes, disconnect his trailer. Disconnect his trailer. If I turn him far enough, the trailer will disconnect and I can run off with his cargo, like uh, pirates of the open, pirates of the road. Disconnect your trailer. If I, like, when I turned, when I made, when I turned too much, it disconnected my trailer. So if I get you to turn too much, your trailer will just disconnect. And I can run off with your fuel. I can run off. <laughs> trucker pirates. Pirate truckers. I'll be taking your cargo. Did he disconnect? Did he disconnect? He disconnected. It's mine now. This is my delivery now. This is mine. I take this. I take this for 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 Poland. This is my trailer. This is my trailer. Hook it up. Hook it up. Hook it up. Hook it up. It won't let me. It won't let me hook it up. But it's mine now. I claim it. I claim this for me. For for Poland. It doesn't let me take it. Why not? It's mine. I earned it through violence. I earned this trailer through violence. It's mine. <laughs> okay, I think this is about as good as it gets. But this is pretty funny. I gotta say, this is pretty funny what I've caused here. <laughs> you can steal people's trailers. You, you disconnect your trailer. Yeah, that's right. Disconnect your trailer. Haha. <laughs> the wall has been created. No traffic will get through this area. There will be... There will be no competition. There will be no competition to my my hauling efforts. Look at the traffic. Look at the traffic jam I've caused. Oh, that'd be funny. It'd be funny to be a pirate. A pirate of the open road, just stealing people's cargo and running off with it. <laughs> oh, that's how you make your money. I wish. I wish. That'd be a great mod. That'd be a great mod for this game. You just go around stealing people's trailers. I mean, that way it's just pure profit. It's 100% profit, you know? You don't even have to start with goods. Alright, well, I made a pretty good barrier here. My barricade is secure. The land... The people... Of, the people of Europe can thank me. I have... I have saved the world from... from shipping. And... <laughs> and then traffic. All right, I can't get around this now. We caused qu quite a quite a traffic jam here. All right, well, that, I think that's enough of a rampage. Thank you guys very much for watching Euro Truck Simulator Part One. This has been a lot of fun. I might consider getting Euro Simu Truck Simulator Part Two in the future, but yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This has been a lot more fun than I expected. So. See you guys next time at 7 for, um, what was it, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. See you then. Alright, will do. See you next time.